Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Morristown is being brought to you by NJM Insurance. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Rumson Fairhaven is being brought to you by Gold Coast Cadillac. The Morristown Quakers road trip to the Jersey Shore. Morristown facing Rumson Fairhaven, two teams that have played a tough schedule early on this season. It's the Quakers getting on the board first. Matthew Buckley bounces and finds five hole. Morristown jumps out to a one nothing lead. RFH has an answer. Check out this great run by Patrick Jamin, who fires the equalizer. Jamin draws the Bulldogs even. Number 12 on the season for the sophomore. We're tied up at one. Junior Jack Avis has stepped in for injured senior Gene Martin and has won his last two starts. The Morristown goalie was locked in. RFH was getting quality shots in the second quarter, but Avis was a stone wall. Morristown gets the lead back. The ball hits the turf. Nick Cataline gathers and fires. Cataline from six yards out gives the Quakers a 2-1 lead. After Rumson drew even, Morristown wanted the lead back, but Ryan Cronick comes up with a big stop. And at the half, we're all tied up at two apiece. Third quarter, RFH gets his first lead of the game. Kyle Forlenza, great hesitation here. That gives him the opening as Rumson Fairhaven has a 3-2 lead. Late in the third quarter, Rumson with a two-man advantage, but Jack Avis was stellar. Avis was able to keep RFH off the board. What a big sequence here. The Morristown goalie all fired up. We head to the fourth quarter, buckle up. It's all tied up at three. Under three minutes to go. Sam Menino hits the ground, but never loses possession. His bouncer is on the money. What an effort by Menino. RFH with a 4-3 advantage. Final minute. Connor McDonough has it behind the net. He gets away from the defender, stick fake, and then goes low. That's clutch. Just 37.8 seconds to go. We're tied at four, and we're heading to overtime in Rumson. In OT, Avis was determined to get his team a big road win. He stepped up big in the final minute of the first OT. Rumson with a number of quality looks, including this shot by Benino, which goes, oh, just wide. So let's go to double overtime. Still locked up at four. In double OT, RFH, a two-man advantage. Once again, Avis denies the game-winning attempt. Morristown goes a man up on the other end. Ben Cantwell with a quality shot. Oh, that was close. It misses by a whisker. Take another look as Cantwell was that close to a walk-off game winner. Both goalies were tremendous in this game. Ryan Crodick takes his turn as the hero. Crodick keeping the Quakers off the board. Final minute of double overtime. Drew Frankel spins, shoots, scores. There's the winner. Just 22 seconds left on the clock, and RFH gets a big win. Five to four is your final in double overtime. What a game played by both teams. Rumson Fairhaven gets the upset over the number 13 team in the latest state polls. Junior Drew Frankel sends them home happy in Rumson. He talked about the thrill of coming through for his team. It's special. I mean, whole town here, great team. Uh, Saturday afternoon game, double OT. Lucky enough to put in the back of the net. It was really fun. So special. Man up. We coach put in a great offense, great man up play, and uh, we needed a goal. Ball just happened to kick out to me. The rest of the man up group did a hell of a job, and uh, I just put it in the back of the net. So. In Rumson, I'm Rich Grampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.